CyberDuck is a good FTP program that you can use, especially on the Mac or on Windows. It works on both. And what you want to do is go out to HTTPS CyberDuck.io. Once you get to that page, if you scroll down, you can see there's a Windows version and there's the Mac version. So I'm going to download the Mac version, put it in my downloads folder, and I'm going to skip ahead to when it's all downloaded. This is going to install my program, so I'm going to, on the Mac I'm going to double click this, unzip it. So what I want to do is I want to take my app and I want to drag it over to my applications folder. You could also copy it and then you can see here's CyberDuck right here. So I'll double click on CyberDuck. Now I'm going to move CyberDuck over to one side of the screen and on the other side of my screen is going to be my finder. And if I go out to my web page Here's my public underscore HTML folder. There we go. So you can see I'm in my public underscore HTML, and here's my main page, my contact page, and I want to move these out to my website. So I'm going to click on the plus to connect to a server. I'll put in my server name, which is pedroj.t.southcentral.edu. So it's your first name, last initial, dot t dot southcentral dot edu. There's, there's one, two, three dots in the, in the domain name, the server name. Ports 21. Your username is your first name, last initial, and your password is your student ID, your eight-digit student ID. and then click connect. Now you may have this closed, don't worry about more options, you don't need those. You can click on connect and here you can see it connects to the web server and the very first thing I want to do is go into my public HTML folder. So now I can take these files from my finder and I can drag those right into my public HTML. And it says, I already have one out there. I says, yes, I want that. And then you can see the files that were I added. I added a contact and today. Now, I could keep this little window here. I could keep this open down here to keep track of my transfers. So I'll kind of pack that down there. Then to view my web page, I'm going to go into a browser and I'm going to type in pedroj.t.southcentral.edu and there's my page. Now let's say I want to edit my page, so I'll open up my page in an editor And I'm going to go into my H1. Make sure you get your H1 and don't get fooled by the title being the same. So I'm going to move down my title and here in my H1 I'm going to say Peter's homepage, welcome. Save the file. And to get this bar up here, this is a really nice idea is to hold down your, your command key or your alt key and hit the tab. And then you can pick whatever application is open. So I'm going to pick CyberDuck and then I'm going to drag my index onto here. I was going to say, do you want to overwrite? I'll say, yep. And then if I go out and view my page again and refresh, you can see the changes made. One more thing on CyberDuck is you want to keep this information once you log in. So you can come up here and you can say new bookmark and this is going to add a new bookmark. 
and this will have all the information that you need. So now I have two of them here. I'll just delete this one down here. But I can look, I can select that, click on my edit button down here, and change all my information. When you do stop CyberDuck, notice it's unregistered, and when I close it, you have this little worry key and you can click this box here don't show again for this version so this won't bother you so I can say come at me later now it doesn't hurt to donate some money for him also I believe out on the Mac store I think it's thirty four dollars or twenty four dollars or something like that so if you go out to the Mac store get the most recent version then uh, you'll have to pay money for it. But that gives you a real quick overview of using CyberDuck.